<laughs> What's he unboxing? What it be? Well, I don't know. Shut up and see. Hey friends, I'm here to do an unboxing for you and for me with, uh, with the Sun Tops. Great little story behind this. This is very nice and I can't wait to get to it. I'm gonna try not to uh, get choked up and cry here. Uh, I'll probably succeed. So if you're thinking you're gonna see uh, a somewhat grown man cry, you're, you're not. Let's check in with the Magic Duff Bucket real quick, because I'm thirsty. It's late at night and I haven't, I'm thirsty. What do you got for me, Magic Duff Bucket? Whoa, a St. Patrick's Day 1986? Walters? Look at that. Look at that racism and uh, uh, stereotyping. That's a joke because this is an empty can. Found a whole bunch of uh, empty vintage beer cans in my father-in-law's house that I'm trying to sell on uh, Facebook because that's where we're at in the timeline of my life. Selling vintage beer cans that I find. And I'm selling them for non-recyclable prices. So I'm actually looking for real money. It's kind of sad. I am literally picking through the garbage, selling garbage cans, cans uh, to people on Facebook. <laughs> Zuckerberg can't even try to stop me. Anyway, what do we really have? Well, I can't get enough of this one. GFY 2020 by Spiteful Brewing, and maybe they'll uh, they'll they'll uh, sponsor the channel. That's another. That's uh, this is begging in the social media age. Do, 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 which is kind of not, uh, uh, it's kind of a, not a good thing for me to be saying during this because th these books were a gift, a very, oh my gosh. That's why I said I'm not going to cry or anything. Um, you know, I usually cry around Easter, Holy Week. I usually, I usually cry a little bit, but mostly it's because of that incense that there's slapping around the church. <laughs> I'm kidding. I haven't been to church in, I got a Baphomet ring on. I mean, that tells you the last time I was in a church. I'm actually going for my godson's communion. But what, whatever, I'm getting into things. Getting into things. I'm talking like we're old friends. Let's get to the books. Oh. So I do a countdown for um, every, um, every new Suntup release. I do a countdown over there on the Fans of Sun Tup group. I'll probably let you in if you want to come in. Just don't like create your Facebook account five minutes ago and then expect to get into the group. We don't let you in. If... Anyway, uh, so during the countdown, uh, people were asking if I got, uh, or I mentioned somewhere that I didn't get the artist gift editions for uh, Stranger in a Strange Land, the Heinlein collection. And somebody's like, well, since they're called Artist Editions now, these are the first books to be called Artist Editions, uh, my friend said, I'm going to put the gift back in Artist Editions, and I'm going to send you, I'm buying you the Heinlein Collection set, Artist Editions. And I just, I was just blown away. I had to save all my money for the numbered, so that's the route I went. And so I'm not supposed to have these. But since I am in this incredible community, I have these. It means everything. It really, really, really does. That was just such a kind gesture. And if you want to out yourself in the comments there, you can. I'm not going to out you. I'm not going to say who it is. Um, but you know, you know what this means. You know, I am just, I was blown away by that. And I cannot believe I have these. The numbers are going to be Monday. I'm getting those on Monday. Oh, yeah. Paul did say that these are going to be packed. I probably shouldn't be jamming. So there's going to be packed with different foam. This is different foam. He said it's a little more rigid. So I've been assembling a mattress out of all the other foams to have Sun Tup Dreams. Sun Tup Dreams. And... So this is going to throw a little monkey wrench in that plan because this is more rigid. But if you're incontinent at night, this is this won't absorb it, I bet. I guarantee you never thought you were going to hear 
about incontinence on this channel. Well, now you did. And then the coveted double stack box. Double stack box. Santa! Bam! I got a few of these. Star ship troopers. Oh, look at this. Oh. I'm. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. So we'll, we'll do it. We'll do it here. Five minutes in, and I didn't even get to it. I'm digging this new foam, though. I don't know if I'm going to want this permanently, but I'm digging it. So, Starship, I never read any Heinlein before, um, but this is the book I will be reading. These are the copies I will be reading using the bookmark as well. Oh, okay. So, Starship Troopers. Pull that. It's, it sheds its skin like a snake, like a sexy snake. I'm sniffing it already. I ain't even waiting. Delicious art. Oh, that's cool. I'm um, sorry. Oh, no. I like that little star motif uh, on, on the slipcase. It's also represented there. Incredible um, wraparound dust jacket. Okay. Okay. Yes, don't, don't want to damage anything. Um, let's see what color schema. Very cool. I, oh, wow. Okay. Avert your eyes if you want to, don't want to see, but, uh, I just noticed this, this is neat. This circle, some tough additions with all the stars around it. I like that. Very cool. Very cool. This is neat. This is neat. I got a peek at it. Look at that. Mmm. Little foil. I mean... Get out of here. I love that that label. It harkens to the Wells set. And I'm going to have to resist an urge to put these next to the Wells set. Oh, very cool. Very nice. Blue and papers. Um, so, of course, all signed by the artist. Here we are. Boom. Not numbered or anything, that's for the numbered and the lettered. Very nice, I, I love the artist. I mean, this is, look at that. Can't wait to read it. Maybe I'll read it back to back with War of the Worlds and get my whole invaded, uh, Space Invader vibe double feature going. Very, very cool. Starship Troopers. That sold out with a quickness. That was a record setting sellout for an artist edition. True story. True story. But there's more. I'm, I'm liking this foam, man. Seems tough. Tough as hell. And you want that. You want that. You want it there to protect the books. A stranger in a strange land. Soon I will be a stranger in a strange land. I'm moving, so there's very few who are a stranger, and uh, the land will be strange to me that I move to. Very cool, look at that, this is a beefy, this is a beefy baby. This baby's a beefy baby. You say that about babies? Oh, look at that baby. Did you know Jeff and Jill had a baby? It was a beefy baby. I don't know if people say beefy babies. Seems like, I don't know, chubby, cute, beefy baby? I mean, does your baby work out? Is it beefy? Like, is it gonna fight you? If you don't give it the, the milk or the formula at once? Look at that. Beefy baby. Stranger in a strange land. I know I just put the slipcase on top of the book. I could do that. I can do that. Look at that. These are these are some, you know, I don't me and science fiction, uh, we have a good relationship. I read Neuromancer. Uh, loved it. I love Time Machine. So I, I'm not averse adverse, averse to uh, sci-fi, but um, 
I don't look forward to it as much as I do is when it says sun up on the label. Beautiful. I mean, see, the thing is, Paul does something that I don't know if I like. He does such cool boards that you don't want to put the dust jackets on, but then he does such awesome dust jackets that you don't want to keep them off. And you don't have wall space to frame them because you're poor. There's the, and, and you, I mean, just like if that was on the shelf, just like that, bam. Beef Daddy would be happy to see Beef Baby up there like that. Man, this is a Thomas Canty artwork. Signed by, and that's a very, that's a very Siggy Sig. Look at that. That's like a roller coaster. You get on that signature, and you're going to have the time of your life. You ride that signature around, and at the end, you get yourself a nice thing of kettle corn at the end, because you don't want to have it before you go on that signature. But then you get that nice kettle corn, and you eat that kettle corn. And then every time you eat that kettle corn, from that day forward, you'll remember that ride on that signature. And you'll say, man. That was a crazy signature, but I had a great time. It was beautiful that day. So I will do the, I'll do my duty and take the really crappy photos at the end and cram them in there with the stock music that sometimes causes a copyright claim, but I don't make money on the channel. So um, <laughs> you could have your copyright claim. I'm not making money. Man, this is awesome. So, you know who, thank you very, 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 very much. Uh, I'm in heaven. This is, this is absolutely, these books are stunning. And if, if you missed out on um, the AEs, the inaugural AEs, you can find them on the secondary. They're popping up hither and, and yon here and there. And uh, you could probably find a set. Dark Regions Press has saved a lot of people from tears. They uh, often, when these sell out, people have gone to Dark Regions Press to scoop up their bundles. So it's, it's surprisingly been um, a, a go-to source, just like Camelot Books, et cetera, and so on. So those are some good, if they're out of print. But you could be having this joy with the Wolf in. There's still 90-some copies of that artist edition with Francois Villancourt's fantastic art that people are gaga over he's fantastic um a lot of people that's their favorite artist right now currently comparing comparisons to Waylon, uh as as one admin said the other day so you can have this joy when wolfen comes out you can't really have this joy right now unless you get on the secondary with these but you can get published price wolfen and i don't know why you would not oh it's a great feeling. And, and like I said, Monday, I'm going to be doing the numbered editions of these. So the joy is going... Remember Book Crack Week? Book Crack Week? <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Remember that? Well, it's kind of on again. Because these landed today. Monday cometh the numbered editions. And then 1984 the numbered edition, 1984, with the individual painted covers from Slunt Up is on the way. And I have a couple of goodies from friends of mine that have written to me, uh, 19th edition, one of them, and, and uh, another friend who uh, um, is sending me some stuff, and wow, it's like book crack week again. So it's really great. So you know what? Cheers to uh, GFY 2020. Here's to, you know, we're, we're kind of well into 2021 and things ain't, ain't cooking yet, but they're going to boil. They're going to cook and boil and be wonderful. And uh, I'm still deciding on what I'm doing with this hair, if you've been wondering this whole time. Jury's out. Till next time, friends, which is in a couple days, have an Easter if that's your bag. You know, I don't know. I think Easter, Easter's, I, I never really liked it because it involved wearing, like, nice clothes. So that's the one way you could lose me. Anyway, see you around. Um, and, and 
be good to each other and thank you, you know who, means a lot.